Hey guys and welcome to a loot guide for LEDXs or LEDXs. So you currently need three for private clinic, one you need for the med station tier three, and you can also use them for end game trades. So there are something that are mainly end game kind of material, but they are definitely worth grabbing, especially with the price at the current time of this recording, sitting at three mil. So they do spawn on labs, shoreline and interchange, but they do also spawn in certain containers. So the first one they spawn in is the hidden caches dotted around the map. You've got 39 on shoreline, interchange and customs, both have 18. And then there's about six or seven on woods. I do have videos for all of these, so I will leave a link in the description to the links to the videos. You can also find them in every single medical supply crate. So like the little orange boxes or the big ones that spawn in the barracks the cage off areas underneath the bunker in reserve each one of those rooms actually have a medical box that has a chance of spawning an ledx as well as in plastic suitcases plastic suitcases are only in labs and on interchange and in sports bags but they are quite rare as well so starting off in the labs we are currently in the center of labs it's a Currently in the center of labs next to the manager office. So one of the most known spawn is this little dome right here. This is where they have a chance of spawning on the barrels right here. And also underneath this forklift, one can spawn under here. You do need to lie down and try to wiggle your way into there. Now what we're going to do is show you another one. So there are two key rooms that actually... Um, have them spawning you got the green key card which is that room down there and then a blue key card which is down the back corner that i'll go to in just a few seconds but in this room over here this is the server room you got a desk at the back of the server room along here and it can spawn just here now what we're going to do is head in to green key card room which is this one up on the left on the second floor this is all kind of dotted around the same area so LEDX has a chance of spawning at any medical location but inside this area they do spawn inside these metal drum uh, little container things so if you see any of those make sure you go and check them out there you go there's an LEDX right there Oh, well, that's handy. I wish I had this kind of like out of raid. But as you can see, they do spawn inside here. Now, I don't have the key card for the blue um, the blue key card. So I can't actually show you inside the room. But I will show you an overlay of the key guide that I had before, which shows you the pathing inside the room. But the blue key card is used on the ground floor. Come all the way down to the end. So that's where the dome is, just in there. Then you come walk out. And then this is the door right here. Of course, you need a blue key card. And it actually spawns on that right there. Right there on the second shelf where my blue laser is. Just there. So now that we're on interchange, you will need power for some of the rooms that I'm going to be opening up in this. But the first one is actually the pharmacy at the entrance of Idea on the right hand side. Inside this room, you do need what's called a pharmacy key. It does only go in for around about 70k at the moment. But there is a chance of an LEDX spawning inside of here as well. You've got this front room and then you've got the back office right here. And there is a chance of a LEDX spawning inside of here. Okay, so now that we are in the center of Ultra right here, you've got the Kipper Store, Brutal and a Mantis. You can actually get LEDXs spawning inside of Mantis. Like I said before, they spawn in any sort of uh, medical spot, so they can spawn along this, um, on the, along those tables there, round here. Don't forget to always check these kind of shelves, these ones, because they do also have a chance of spawning medical items. Always check these drum barrels as well. The metal ones, like I showed you in the labs, always make sure you check those type of ones as well. And then up and to the left, they can spawn in Emacom as well. If we pop in. So 
So inside here, you want to be checking all of the spawns. So there's a pile of meds right there. And then once again, you want to be checking the medical spawns that are inside these little drums. Because these seem to be the type of locations that actually actively have the LEDXs spawning inside of them. But also, don't forget to check the shells as well. Is that most of these shells can actually spawn medical items. So what we're now going to do is go and head up to Techlight and go to the Ultra Medical Storage Room. So we've now arrived at Techlight. For you to actually open this door, the power does actually have to be on. So you've got the escalators right up right there. Turn right, head into here. Unlock the door. Just bear in mind that this is a highly trafficked location. One for the tech spawns and two for this medical room. But you can see dotted around, you do have med spawns all around and another LEDX right there. And now for shoreline, here is the list of keys that you're going to need to do this. But like I said before, I would definitely recommend that you check out my looting guide for shoreline because it is definitely a great way to make money on this map. So we are going to start off on the east side, which is the right side, which is the blue key card side. So starting off with the ground floor, we are actually going to be hitting up 107. So 107 is just past the hole in the ceiling on the right hand side, just here. Like I said in the interchange and in the labs runs, anything that has medical spawns has a chance of spawning LEDXs, but they do spawn on these two shells right here. What we're now going to do is head upstairs to 222 and 226. But before we hit 226, we need to actually enter 227. There is a possible LEDX spawn on top of the washer and dryer. Now into 226 and 222. If you're going to be buying your keys, see which one is the cheapest for me. It was 226 at the time. Unlocking the door. On the right hand side behind the door right here has a chance of spawning LEDXs as well as down there. And on top of this um, end table, I can't remember the bloody drawers, that's it. They have a chance of spawning on the drawers right there. And then you access it through the balcony and this is 222. Make sure you check this, it's pretty good look down there. So now what we're going to do is head upstairs. So in 328 or in the storeroom key, they both open up to the same area. This is what the storeroom key is called. The health resort utility room key so either one opens up to the same area i have this one due to it unlocking a few doors on the other side just has additional loot but heading through and then right here has the chance of spawning the ledx on here now moving along we are now going to open up 313 or 314 they both open up to the same area once again 313 is more expensive than 314 because that is the room that actually has the ledx spawning that's what people usually search but you just enter it through the balcony and it spawns on top of this box right here on the corner now what we're gonna do is go and head to 306 as you can see, most of these are actually on the third floor. So 306 and 308 open up to the same area. Of course, make sure you actually check which one, you know, it actually opens up to. But I'm pretty sure it can spawn right here on top of this desk just there. There might be another spawn in this area, but that is the medical spawn inside these rooms. Now what we're going to do is actually head over to the admin building. Okay, so this is the admin building, which is also the theatre room. So this is the stairs that go up to the theatre. What you're actually going to want to do is head to the left hand side or right side and head down here. The LEDX can actually spawn right there on this cart just above the plates. Another location for a LEDX to spawn is actually in this ambulance right in front of us. It isn't that common of a spawn, but it can spawn in the back just here. And you can also get a blue keycard just there, just to so keep your eye out. So heading through. So we are now in the west building, which is the red building. The first room we're going to be going and hitting up is 301. For some reason, West Wing Room 301 has the highest concentration of LEDXs I've actually 
seen on this map, there's a, for some reason a higher chance of them spawning inside this room. So 301, which is right here. Inside this room, you have a chance of them spawning on top of the water barrels, or they can fall down and be down here as well. Following through, they do also have a chance of spawning where this saline solution is or where the helix is. Now what we're going to do is drop down and then hit up 205. So 205 or 203, they both open up to the same area. But on the left hand side right here has a chance of spawning a LEDX. There are other medical spawns inside this room, so you've got one here and one here. But they mainly spawn on this nightstand. There is also a red keycard spawn, I might as well show you because it's money. That can spawn right there on that piece of paper. Now what we're going to do is head to 216, which is along this corridor. You need to jump over the barbed wire. And you've got 216 on the left right here. And look in this room, the medical spawns are along here and they have a chance of spawning just here. Now what we're going to want to do is head downstairs. And we're going to be wanting to hit up 104. At the very end, here's 104. And lock into the door. This is a blue keycard spawn as well that can spawn on this desk underneath these pieces of paper. But the LEDs can spawn in either those two places or these two places. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting at 8am GMT. Don't forget to check down in the link in the description for our spreadsheet. It does have all of the tasks, guides, keys, extracts, everything down there that can definitely help you, especially at this stage of the wipe. Guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.